Khan. Shalom Akim, Shalom Akwat. It's another Saturday day coming out prophesying the downfall of this wicked empire. But the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to give all praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Wahara, Wah, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth in sincerity. So another Saturday, another, another uh, weekend to chant down Babylon, prophesy the downfall of mystery Babylon, the, the continuation of this Roman Empire, and where we teach our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Indians, that they are the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, and uh, the Israelite foreigners who may be scattered around the globe. If their bloodline goes back to being uh, a descendant of Jacob, it's time to repent, you know, because hey, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. There's importance of repentance in changing your mind from walking according to the instructions and the ways of this world and returning unto the Most High. Because the Heavenly Father is fed up. He's, he's furious concerning what is taking place on the globe right now. As many people disregard, don't care about the ways how they offend the Heavenly Father, the Lord, the Lord is continually showing the people by the way of destruction, by the way of chastisement, what is going to take place? This is merely the beginning, as, as, as a beautiful example. When you look at when you look at America, you had deadly tornadoes, man. That's all being being steered by the Most High. The Lord is in control of everything, man. You know. Let me just uh, I'm gonna show as well the article. People need to take it serious what is taking place, man. I'm show it like this in the public and so many. Deadly severe weather outbreak in South leads to nearly four dozen tornado reports across four states. Yeah, man. And the four states, I believe you're talking about uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, uh, Georgia, and there was one more, Alabama, Alabama, you know? The Heavenly Father is A. Hey, you gotta you gotta think about it, man. Deadly severe storm, tempest, hurricane, cyclones. Here you are in your in your in your in your comfort zone because that's what people have. The comfort zone, the place of your rest, the place where you can cover shame, you know? Your 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 sanctuary, so to say. The Lord, the Lord can cause a, an extreme, a severe tornado to, to, to rage through a whole place, man. Destroy whole buildings, man. Put people to death by the way of by the way of the elements, man. And the Most High is doing this because he is angry for what the people are doing. When you go up against the Heavenly Father, you walk in sin, transgressing the law. You're upsetting the Most High. The Heavenly Father is a jealous power, man. You know? He wants you to bow down only unto him. When you bow down unto idols, the Heavenly Father gets angry, man. That's when he brings chastisement and judgment upon the people. And this is a prime example of grievous judgment falling upon people and it's actually there to tell you like, get right, get right, repent, return back unto the Most High. That is the message of the Most High, you know? So let's open up with uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse, uh, verse 16. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 mm -hmm. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. Mm -hmm. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. Yep. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. Yeah, man. So you gotta open up the Bible and read the Bible with spiritual comprehension, man. You gotta understand what the Most High is doing. You gotta understand why the Heavenly Father is allowing these type of plagues, these type of grievous judgments to fall down upon people. The Lord is not doing this because he's well pleased with how people are walking upon this earth. You know, come. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, with thunder and with earthquake mm -hmm. and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So the Lord is using the elements against the people, man. You're going to have extreme tempest, extreme hurricanes, cyclones, tornadoes. Raging and causing destruction upon people, man, who might be in their comfort zone. The Lord is going to cause for extreme rain pouring out of the out of the sky, causing for floodings, extreme heat waves, extreme wind, and we in this winter time, man. Extreme cold, 
is going to fall upon the people, especially here in Europe, man. The book of Isaiah chapter 28, verse 2, mm. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hail and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Yeah, man. You see, so the Lord is letting you, the Lord is letting you know, like He's doing this, man. Nobody else for the bunch of when they say like God is not doing something like that. God is all love. You got people really thinking that God only knows one emotion, man. God would only love, hug, kiss, close his eyes for all your evil. No matter if you make a golden calf, they many people don't read the Bible, man. If you read the Bible, you can see what the Heavenly Father did with people as soon as they created a golden calf and bowed down unto it, man. But yet you got people, when you correct them, when you tell them what will happen, oh, you can't say those things, you can't be that harsh, you're, you're using harsh language. But these same people, these are the same people that watch movies, all type of words are being used, that the hypocrisy of people, man. But the Lord sees everybody's heart, man. When we tell people what is going to take place according to the Bible, and when we, when we warn you and instruct you into the ways of the Most High, because we truly care, because it's the will of the Most High, it's the compassion of the Most High, being sent by the prophets, the messengers, unto the people. That's our duty. We got to tell you what is coming. We got to warn you about what is coming so that you can get right, so that you at least had a chance or a choice to decide, I want to do what is right or I want to maintain doing what is wrong. But as you maintain in doing what is wrong, you got to bear the consequences of doing the wrong as well. You know? got something bring it up well, I, uh, I was looking for the scripture uh, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it uh, that's in the book of Amos yeah Amos chapter 3 oh yeah. chapter 3 uh, yeah. About, uh, starting at verse 6 oh yes I yeah, got it the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6 mm -hmm. shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid mm -hmm. shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it yeah man that's the Lord the Lord does all these things man you still got a lot of people saying things like, well, God, God wouldn't do something like that. God would look down at anybody. People, people convince themselves that God loves the sinner, but he hates sin. It doesn't make any sense. They're saying God loves a pedophile, but the Heavenly Father hates the act of pedophilia. It doesn't make sense. But that's the mind of, of, of a modern-day plantation Christianity believer, an idol worshiper, man. If you walk according to Christianity, and that is modern day plantation Christianity. You are idol worshiper, man. So you gotta get out of those hollowed houses, man. You gotta get out of those houses, get into the real understanding, learning. By learning, you go to the true prophets, the true, the true apostles, the true teachers, man. That's where you gotta go, ask questions and get edified. You know? I got something. This is in the book of uh, the book of Psalms. I believe it is in let me see what it is, man. Is it in let me see. Okay, let me let me first bring out this one because I was let me see where am I? Let's see one on it in six. <coughs> Okay, let me go to 24. Apparently this scripture is not bad, boys. This is in the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 14. It reads, Now therefore, fear the Lord Jehovah and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord Jehovah. So the Lord is letting you know you got to stop, you got to put aside all those idols, man. If you if you abide in serving those idols, you're going to be, man, uh, hey. The same way, like, when you tell people, you ask people, like, do you know, do you know the origin of, of Christmas? Do you know what you're celebrating? Do you understand why during Christmas, many, many Christmas trees are burning, houses are being burned down? You got, you got homicide, suicide, family, uh, uh, family uh, 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 um, a slaughtering, butchering. Why do you think that those things are taking place, especially around that time of the year? Because it's one of the most demonic times of the year. 
they love to say it's the most wonderful time of the year. Rev, yeah. For for Satan, you know, you had oh yeah, you had this, you had this ad, and I believe I don't know if it was from, I believe it was from Disney. It was a Disney ad, which is a Disney, uh, um, a Disney commercial. And you had these kids coming up with all these different letters, and then the letters were when you place them around each other, it showed we love Satan. And then later, later you saw Santa coming up. You, lo you saw Santa coming up, and then they changed the letters into we love Santa. It's like this is straight up, straight up devil shit, man. They telling the, they tell, they telling you in your face what they represent, man. Who they stand for, what they are, man. In your face, we love Satan. Damn, the devil is getting both in the evil and the wickedness, man. The Balenciaga scandal, you know. There's the, the uh, I cannot say too much about it because these these people that are involved with that wickedness, they are being protected by YouTube, man. That's how. That's why they took down the whole channel of um, of the reporter of the news punch, man. They also had they also had a YouTube channel where he placed videos and this man they this reporter covered everything man. He showed a picture like they removed they they cancelled they cancelled the whole the whole account because of because of the the revealing the revealing of what is taking place concerning the Balenciaga man. It's it's the capital P. Yeah man. And when we say the capital P, you already got to know what we mean by that. <laughs> they're busy with, uh, you know, uh, normalizing pedophilia yep. and, you know, um, busy with, uh, yeah, you know, sexualizing these uh, underage children. Exactly, man. And they're being, they're being heavy targeted, man. So what do you think that the Heavenly Father look, how do you think that the Most High is looking at this, this, this demonic, wicked ass kingdom, man? Yeah, man, man. Look at this, man. Even even animals ain't pedophiles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Even animals, they wait until uh, until it's the right time, you know, to mate. Exactly. This is truly the the, the spirit of a beast. The beast. It's a, it's a it's a perverse and beastly spirit, man. It says here in verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. So we we are not going to bow down unto 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 Baal, you know. Balenciaga. They said the Latin. They looked it up. The Latin meaning of Balenciaga is Baal, and an Balenciaga means Baal is the king. Baal is the king. Baal is the king. That's what that's what the meaning of the black of the branch means. Balenciaga. Baal, Baal, Baal is the king. So it's Baal again, again, idol worshipery. Did you get the book of um, a First John? The book of First John, chapter five and uh, twenty-one. Our people, our people need to understand what happened as soon as we worship idols, man. Understand that this is not a light thing, man. When we show our people to separate themselves and not to celebrate these unholy days, which are not being appointed by the Most High, you got to take heed. Don't come up with reasons and ways to buck up onto the warnings that are being given unto you because now you're going to absurd. You're going to, you're angering the Most High. Come bring it up. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 1, mm. whosoever believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Mashiach, is born of God Yahweh, and everyone that loveth him, that begat, loveth him also, that is begotten of him. What the first that? Eight. Nine, 21. Oh, Salah. No problem. Uh, little children, keep yourselves from idols. Mm. Amen. Yeah, man, you got to keep yourself from idols, man. Amen. Very clear. Don't bow down unto them. Don't reach out to them. Because the most time is going to get angry. What does the scripture say in the book of Exodus? Exodus 20, you can uh, start from the top. 20? Yeah. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. And God Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God Yahweh. 
which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, Yahweh, am a jealous God. Yeah, the Lord is a jealous God. You know, you're not supposed to bow down unto idols because the heavenly father will get angry, man. Do you want to meet the anger of the Most High, the indignation of the Lord? No, you don't. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yeah, because it's hate. When you disobey the heavenly father, when you when you do the thing with what he says, I'm a jealous, but with he already states I'm a jealous power, don't bow down unto idols. You show hate towards the most high. You know? That's the hate that they show towards the Heavenly Father. But they don't understand that. They think like, ah, but that's not that big, big of a deal. I believe that I'm doing right. That mind, that opinion. People place their opinions above the will and the fear of the Lord. I don't think that I'm doing wrong. Well, I, I think I'm a good person. I think I'm a good person. I believe I'm a good person. But how does the Most High deem what you do? Are you walking in his way, or are you leaning upon your own understanding? Exactly, man, because even a pimp thinks he's a good guy, man. Exactly. This is what the scripture says, man. This is in the book of uh, Psalm 16, 16 verse 3. But to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. The heavenly father has delight in the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. The Israelites are the saints. Yeah, man, uh, who the people ignorantly call Negroes, Indians, and Latinos. Exactly. And the most has delight in them when they walk in his ways, in his statues. But if you walk contrary unto the statues, according to the ways of this world, Job 9 and 24 explains that the earth is giving into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, man. Hey, man, I got a question for you. Where, where, where are you from? What did he say? I didn't understand, but I wanted to ask him who was ruling this planet. But uh... hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. Key thing, like the same thing when you ask, when you go to a pastor, you might ask these pastors. Like even if you would say which nation, which biblical nation is right now ruling upon this earth, they can't answer you this, man. After all the theological seminary, a cemetery, let me correct myself, all the theological cemetery, uh, 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 so-called programming or, or, or education, however you want to call it, they don't know. They don't know, they can tell you straightforward to the point who is ruling this earth, they can tell you in what type of state the Hebrew Israelites will be in in these last days before the Lord is coming back. These are some basic key things to point out. Who is ruling? Which nation is ruling upon this earth? Which biblical nation? And beside that, what is the state of the Hebrew Israelites, the children of Israel, in these last days before the Lord is coming back? Boom. Let me finish this. This is in the book of uh, Psalm 16, verse 4. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. The Lord will multiply sorrow upon you, man. And then you can question yourself, is sorrow a good thing? Sorrow is not a good thing, man. Sorrow, sadness, grief, pain, agony. That's what the Lord will multiply on all of our people that don't go to the right hand side. They don't walk in His ways. You got, you got holy days, you got the day of atonement, you got the Sabbath, you got the Pasach, you have uh, 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 the feast of unleavened bread, you know, you got Purim, you have different type of memorials, the, the feast of blowing of trumpets, you know, this is, this is what our people are supposed to keep, but if you have on the left hand side, this wicked empire teaching them go and celebrate Christmas and they go along with it. If the system is telling them, go, it's a new year, during, during 31, the 31st of December to the 1st of January, people believe that, man. Blowing and lighting up fireworks, 
celebrating and thinking that it's the entering the beginning of a new year, while the beginning of a new year is doing spring. When everything is really springing up, coming back to life, that's the beginning of a new year. So the state that people are in is completely, is completely disconnected from the most high. Yeah, exactly, man, and also disconnected from uh, common sense, you know, because if you study a bit, then you'll know that December, the word December comes from, uh, you know, it actually it means 10. It yep. comes from the Greek, meaning yep. Deca, and Deca is 10. But here it is, it is the 12th month. That is uh, September, mm -hmm. which is, it, it is now the ninth, ninth month, but Sept, Septo, it means 7. Yep, yep. You see, so the devil, the devil is causing a lot of confusion, man. You can get it as well in uh, Daniel, Daniel 7 and 25. Let me finish this one. This is, uh, their, sor their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offering of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names to my lips. So when they, when they, uh, people, man, they, they offer, they sacrifice unto idols. And as they do these things, they, you know how people are, they do wickedness and then they say, thank God for this meal. They celebrate Thanksgiving, they celebrate Christmas doing the thing that is hateful in the eyes of the Most High. And then they say, they say foolish things. Thank God we're here together, the family. It's a glad, it's a beautiful time to be with each other. Exactly, you man. Know? That's, that's good what the brother pointed out because you have these, these, these gangs, uh, mainly uh, those are the so-called Latino gangs. Mm -hmm. Before they do their wickedness, they pray, man. Yep, right. They pray and they walk with crosses. That's crazy. And they're called Jesus. Which is Jesus? They're called like that, but these guys are murderers, man. That's crazy. Yep. They, they, these guys are damn murderers, man. That's crazy, man. And that sh that shows you that that's the taking of the heavenly Father's name and fame. Even though even though they not truly, they, even though they don't truly use the name of the Most High, because the name of the heavenly Father is terrible and dreadful amongst the heathen. But it's it's the it's the mind behind what they say. They refer towards the Most High and they refer towards the Redeemer as they are occupied in evil. That's a, that's a very, very, very foolish and self-destructive thing to do, man. You know? Come. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Yeah, man. So the first piece is actually going in onto how the, the wicked is actually wearing out the saints, man. And when you look at our people, our people are tired. We in this truth are tired, man. You're fixed in the spirit of what is being normalized, what is being pushed, the violent, the atrocities, you know, the corrupting, the demoralization of the minds of, of men and women on this earth, man. The whole, the whole idea of, of, of the daughters of Zion in a hearty spirit of twerking, man. I had one of the brothers show the video. I believe they were at some, at some, uh, um, yeah, man. Yes. The, the brother showed the video and they were at the wedding. And at the wedding, the, the, the father and the mother, I don't know if it was the wedding of the father and the mother, but they were dancing, kind of dancing, moving. And the daughter, the daughter shamelessly at a wedding as the music was playing, starting to bend over and starting to twerk. Like you saw, man, whew, they say if looks, looks can kill, right? The way how the, the way how her father looked back towards her like this, she immediately stopped, recomposed herself and she stopped twerking. But that's, that's what, that's what these females need, man. Correction, guidance, discipline, man. You know? Exactly, man. And that's what a man brings, man. Exactly. A real man. Because uh, uh, you, have, you have these sims, these, these clowns right now, that allow the buffoonery of these females, man. Hey, yeah, man. Let her do that if she wants to do that. Let her do that, do that, do that, man. They, they love the buffoonery and the, the morally deranged conduct of the daughters of Zion, man. But they need correction. You need to tell them what is wrong. You need to guide them, man. That's why when you look around, there's a true man of the Lord walking in that vein, and you want to see a change, you want to see improvement in your brothers, but also in your sisters, it is fixing, man. This place is so fixing, man. You deal with people at your work, proud, rebelling, doing things, saying things, you know? People on the comic board saying things, you know? 
people walking by, scoffing and scorning. Many people are offended, weak-minded, or we're saying these type of words when they're coming out of the Bible. Weak-minded, man. If, you, if people already stumble over the words that we, that we pronounce, and can't be given to the edification, you really think that a person like that is ready for the war that will take place in the world? You really think that they are ready to witness people dying left and right? Do you really think that people are ready for that, man? If somebody already is stumbling and complaining and falling and crawling, crying over over the over the selection the formulating of sentences the words that we use how do you think that people are going to feel in a time when they start seeing people dying left and right man exactly man because they couldn't even handle the lockdowns man hey that's true many people committed suicide you had you had this chick in, in uh, i believe she was in england and she she looked she looked quite cute man you know but she couldn't handle the lockdown, you know, and she committed suicide because of the lockdown. You would be thinking like, damn, man, what, what's up with that? Lockdown, they can't handle it, they commit suicide. Can't go to the club, can't go to the cinema, can't go to this, can't do that. They commit suicide. Ah, I need my attention, where's my attention? <laughs> hey, but that's the mind of, 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 of the weak. If you fall already for that, how about, man, how about true, true trouble? The real trouble, man. Exactly, man, because this was just, uh, you know, it was like uh, an Best appetizer, one. man. Yeah, this is beginning a prelude. Yeah, man, this, this, this wasn't the main course yet, know what I'm saying? Exactly. This was just testing, like, okay, let's see how they're going to react. Yeah, man. People it, are many, ah, tweaking, going crazy. It, I can't handle that, no, no. Exactly, and guess what? After the main course, there's no dessert. Mm. No dessert after the main course, man. Mm. That's it. No sweetness after the main course. No well, at least not for, for these heathens, man. Exactly. And not for the ones that don't want to do the will of the Most High, the exactly. of our nation, man. You know, the sweetness, the joy, the comfort, the, 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 the deliverance, the divine help, is only for the, for the ones that do the will of the Most High, that repent, that believe in the Lord, that receive the Redeemer, got themselves cleansed by the blood of the Redeemer, it's for them. That's that's the beautiful balance, man. Yep. You're, going, you're going to get according to what you put in. You, If you do the thing that is right, you're going to get a righteous reward. If you don't want to get right, you just think like, I don't care about doing right. I do, I do what I deem right. Then you're going to find out what the Lord is going to do with you, man. And that's going to be a lot, a lot of people, man. A lot of people. When you, when you speak about doing good or being good, that's a very subjective uh, a way of approaching things. But right? people can say, I, I think I'm a good person. I believe I'm a good person. A pedophile, a, a, a serial killer might think like, I, don't, I think I ain't doing wrong. I think I'm doing the right thing for just slaying people, you know? A serial killer can deem him or herself a, a, a good person, man, you know? But not to, to linger on, the piece about in uh, the Daniel, which the brother already read, Esau shall seek to change the times on this earth. So he's playing with the amount, with the, with the months, he's playing with the weeks. You know, you have, you have this madness, the, the, the clock needs to go an hour back with an hour front to the front. All type of confusion, man, you know? We have the new year during the December 31st, to, 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 uh, uh, to January, which is straight up confusion, you know? The seasons are completely out of order. By the way, by the way of Esau, the brothers we brothers. Last week we showed the people about how millions of animals are continually walking in circles, man. Linked onto the harp, linked onto the camp trails, you know? The whole, there's, there's, a, whole, there's a whole shift in uh, uh, the magnetic field, you know? You're going to have extreme uh, 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 warm during the summer. This winter will, 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 will mount into an extreme cold. This is what is taking place on the globe right now, man. Everything is morning, man. And it's all the fault of the nation of Eden, man. The wicked that the Bible speaks about, man. You know, so let's go to the book of uh, Psalms 47. Psalms 47, and I'm going to get, uh, let me get... Let me get uh, uh, Psalms 87. Because the Lord is fed up. As we see these things, the Lord looks down. 
by the ways of the angels. And he's fed up. And he's showing you he's fed up. How is the Lord letting the people know on the globe that he's fed up by the things that take place on the globe? Exactly. And by his service, the prophets. Yes. Yep. Yep. The prophets warn, they tell you, and they explain why it is happening. So that nobody can say, oh my God, why is God doing this? The prophets tell you everything. You want to know? Come ask and find out. You know? Come bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 47, verse 1. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God, Yahweh, with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. Mm. He is a great king over all the earth. The Lord is terrible and he's a great king over all on this earth, man. Is this a God where you want to play with? When the Bible states that the Heavenly Father is terrible, do you think that you should provoke the Most High? Should you think like, oh man, God is not terrible, you know? Just because you never hear these type of verses in the Bible, does not mean that the Heavenly Father only knows love. What type of, what type of God, what type of power would that be if the only emotion, the only emotion that he has is love? Yeah, and you know, if that were true, he wouldn't know what justice is. Exactly. Exactly. <coughs> Verse 3, He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob whom he loved, Selah. Yeah, man. Hey, and the Lord is showing it, man. The Lord is showing tokens, signs. The Lord is restoring his people to this beautiful estate right now, you know? This is what our people need to know, man, you know? In the book of uh, Isaiah 13, verse, uh, verse 11. Uh, let me see, where is this for the scripture? Man? Not a head, man. The so, book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Yeah, man, that's what the Lord is doing right now, man. He's being exposed left and right, all type of scandals. But also the Lord is using, using all type of uh, uh, terrible weather phenomena to bring judgment upon the people, man. This is the Lord's work, man. And, and it's a beautiful thing to see how the Lord is doing these things, man. People scattering, many of them don't know, they don't understand why. It's in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. Let me get, let me see if I can find this one, man. This one, let me read this one. You can bring uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The book of Psalms chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. And people are very afraid of storm, man. You got, you got the hurricane, hurricane season. People always trying to prepare. Some of them are very, very foolish and they think like they don't even have to prepare. Others are taking action, preparing themselves, getting all type of wood, bop, 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 preparing themselves. There's a hurricane season is upon them. The hurricane raging towards the whole place, ripping off the whole building, rooftops start flying around. Hey, that's a terrible thing to witness, man. Here you got people in their house, getting on the, getting on the, getting under the table. Oh my God, please, I hope it ends. I hope it stops. I hope it stops. Some of them go into a bunker. And all the thing is raging. Twister, the movie Twister is a, is a beautiful example, man. Certain, the certain point you saw a whole cow and flying. Flying a whole cow, flying around. Lord, Lord is terrible, man. Just trying to imagine, like, if you're in a building, Lord is letting loose because you got different type of magnitudes, however you want to call them, EF. I believe they say EF when, when you speak about certain tornado. EF2, EF3. When, when the wind is raging 160 miles per hour, sweeping down buildings, man. That's the wind. The same thing as water. The Lord can cause for a flooding, extreme amount of water falling down. And then the water is sweeping everything, sweeping, sweeping a car, sweeping a hole, sweeping a whole tree. Coming up, coming up against a whole building, tripping up a whole building. Water is getting into the house. Water go up. Got people crawling. Oh my God! Getting on the roof, waiting on the roof for the chopper to come down. Please save us! Please save us! That's a horrible thing, man. Everything swept to the side, man. 
all, all your belongings, all your things, all your precious things. You got your photo album, you know, precious things. The word, the Lord, the Lord is, the Lord is terrible, man. Everything that you had, swept, boom, gone. You can't replace that. There's no amount of money that can replace those, those, those belongings, man. That's a whole other value of stuff. You got a question? You don't got a question. You got a comment. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. So what again? Read it again. What did the Lord do? The Lord killeth and maketh alive. The Lord kills. Is it true? Yes, it is. The Lord, the Lord kills people, man. Lord, the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't, oh, I love you. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I'll come here, better pal. Oh, you're a homosexual. I love you. No, that's not the Lord, man. Yeah, man. Because imagine this, man. Most of most of the people, they have a God that loves the man that fucked the children. Yeah, hey, hey. Which doesn't make any sense, man. So actually, you shouldn't punish anyone according to those standards. Hey, that's it. They they just justify evil, man. Exactly. It's like turning turning their turning a blind eye. The same thing as the Catholic Church. You have the Pope. There are so many. How many scandals are there in the Catholic Church? Evolving around clerks, evolving around those that are high in high places and 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 children, man. But yet that that wicked church is going on. Yet yet that that. The, the, the false prophet, the Pope, is still at his office talking about so-called speeching, man. Exactly. And you, can, and you can see the evil in the eyes, man. Every time when this man is touching a little boy, the way how he's looking at these children like, you just got the shivers like, yo. Yeah, man, and, and God loves him after he done fucking your son. Crazy. God loves him. Crazy. He loves the pedophile and loves your son because <laughs> God loves everybody. That's crazy. These people, well, that shows you, man, that may you may read and may you understand, they look around. You'd be like, these people have clearly no clue about why they call the Heavenly Father Allah Shadja, man. Why, why, why we fear, man? Why we do what we do every time. When you, when you slip up, you'd be like, yo, you fear him. Because you understand what took place with us in this time and in the press, in, in the past for going up against them. And we felt, we felt, we felt the Even unto this very same day, the chastisement, the correction. When you do something that is off, the Lord is immediately on you, man. And as the, on the other side, you see people just going, stealing, prospering, laughing. Oh, look at them, they believe in God. This, this demon, these demonites steal, they laugh and they prosper, you know? But it's, if, you, if you don't know, if you're not truly in the sanctuary of the Most High, you might you might get envious towards the man. Why are they making so much money? They prosper man. Only when you get into the sanctuary of the Lord, you understand the Most High put them in slippery places, man. Yes, they prosper. Yes, they get blinded by all the wickedness. Yes, they get. Yes, they got riches, but they don't see. They don't. They can see what is going to be the end of all the edges, man. Yeah, man, and you know, um, uh, even though, um, for example, Timberland. He might drive a Ferrari, but he's he's not happy, man. He might have millions, but he's not happy because when a slave master calls him to, to suck some nuts, he gotta suck the nuts. When, when a slave master says, bend over, nigga, he gots to bend his ass over. <laughs> hey, that's how that's how the cookie crumbles, man. That's how it is, man. You know, they ain't got nothing to say, man. They just they just like the whole system causes for slavery, modern day slavery, but those that sold their soul, they're in a whole other, they're in a whole other captivity, man. <coughs> they just need to go, bend over, been done all type of grievous things onto. They need to sacrifice their children, rearrange, change their children. You know, hey, horrible. Exactly, man. Look at the, look at Will Smith, man. Will Smith. Look, he's in the sunken place, man, like the others, man, but. Damn man, <laughs> I feel sorry for his ass, man. Hey. He, he might be he, he might be rewarded with an Oscar for the best actor, but but look at him, man. Look at him, sad, totally down to the ground. And and that's the Will Smith, like back in the days, fresh the fresh Prince of the Air, young days, man, looking like oh, this big Will. Yeah, man, I used to look up to him, man, because you know he he was a great rapper as well. The way how he moved, he did thing, the way how he was, you know. 
flirting, having fun with these, with these, with these girls. Big Will. But then you see him in a relationship, just straight up simping, weak. This man, this man plays roles in, 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 in movies, like, like tough guy roles, man. When, what was the last one where they made with a, with a, with a kind of uh, double figure? Uh, uh, Gemini man. Gemini man. I was like, yo, this man, But then you think, and then you see the reality of, because that's just a movie character. But then you see him in real life, how this man is a... You'd be like, yo, what the fuck, man? And, and that makes him a great actor, man. Yeah, that, that's true, man. He is... That is, that is really an actor, man. He is a real, real deal actor, man. That's crazy. You would at least think, like, if a man is holding himself in a movie, showing himself... Like, for example, Jace, Jason Statham, man. When you look... And I don't know a lot about Jason Statham, because, but I don't hear no scandals in that type of way about Jason Statham. Like, when you see Jason Statham in movies, the transporter, the way how he fights, and you look at him as a person, that's a sort, that's a way of a certain view that you have of a person. But really, oh man, that's, that's, it's sad, man, it's sad. It's a sad, sad thing, man. Yeah, man. Uh, the Lord maketh, uh, the Lord killeth, and the Lord maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. Yeah, man. The Lord, the Lord can lift you up and the Lord can cast you down, man. The Lord, the Lord can make you rich. And the Lord, the Lord can make you poor. That's the same thing that the Lord did with you when you entered into the truth, man. You might have made money, been spending, had fun, easy money. You know. But as soon as we enter into the truth, the Lord is putting the Lord is putting the press upon you. Being not in this ministry or in this empire to, to think that you was appointed to live lavishly and that everything would be just cool, easy and, and relaxed. That's not the kingdom we're in right now, man. This is this is this is Esau's empire, man. This is our slavery. <coughs> this is our captivity, man. It's a burden. This ain't this ain't no happy land. This ain't no fun house. This, this is captivity, man, modern day captivity. The children of Israel are, are in captivity and they need redemption, man. Redemption, first of all, redemption being delivered by the way of the mind and then the complete redemption by, by the Heavenly Father taking down the enemy and bringing us back into our holy land. That's what we need, you know? Council, let's go to, uh, how is that done? No. Uh, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. Mm. He bring it low and lift it up. Yep. He raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill yep. to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. So the kingdom, the heavenly father decides unto whom he gives the kingdom. So he took the basis of man, the Edomites, the Caucasians, and he placed them in the highest position, man. The basis of man. And when you put the base of man in rulership, the ones that don't have any form of understanding of taking care of the planet, they don't have any form of sense of, of righteousness, if you put the destroyer into power, I guess what will happen with the planet? He will destroy the whole planet. And that is what is taking place today. Everything is mourning, everything is destroyed, everything is crying, everything is begging for this devil to stop ruling on this earth people, animals, organisms, everything, man. And that's the same thing where we're fighting and chanting for, man. We want Esau to be taken down. Yes. We want a righteous kingdom, man. We want the empire where, which is taking care about our people and teaching the people to walk in righteousness, man. Anybody that goes up against righteousness needs to be punished, man. Exactly. In the book of uh, Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2, I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get 1 Corinthians 6 tonight. <coughs> These Christians are back at it again. I hear them singing that, that <laughs> singing that song. Well, how long are they going to sing, man? This, this is, this is, the singing is going to end pretty soon, man. Understand, we to a certain degree we all sing, but we sing the song, the, the, the gospel of the Lord. Man. We, ain't, we ain't singing, you know, no songs about joy and, and 
hitting the tambourine like like as if this is a joyful time like like as if this is being birth being being in the spirit of birth man they be in a time of preparations warning preparations prophesying about what is coming edification building and preparing you for the hardship that is coming upon this earth man that is the time that we're living in man come bring it up exactly the book of Nahum chapter 1 verse 2 yep God Yahweh is jealous and the Lord revenge it. The God, the Heavenly Father is jealous again. He is a jealous power. Why is he jealous? Because the people bow down unto idols. That makes him angry. He, is, he deserves all the glory and all the attention, man. You know? But these people don't know what they do. They think they do the right thing. Well, but isn't Christmas related to Jesus? Isn't it? That's you assuming. We're living in a time, we're living in a time where you got everything available. You got the internet, information age, you can research things, but people don't research anything. If they want to get on the internet, they want to get on TikTok. Let me do this stupid dance and I want to get all those likes. They got chicks taking their filthy, stinking ass butt, trying to get attention. But they don't go into the internet and research and understand what these feast days mean. And if the, and if the most high is down with it, man, they don't do that. They just, they, no, nah, 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 don't tell, don't tell us that the feast days are not biblical. They don't want to get corrected, man. Can't go on. The Lord revenge it and is furious. Woo. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserved wrath for his enemies. This is what the Bible says. Have you ever heard these verses? In the moment when you went to the when you went to the church, those temples built by hands, go and ask, go and ask your pastor, dear pastor, could you please open up with the book of Nahum, the first chapter? Could you could you start reading and tell us what it means? Could you explain? It's actually self-explanatory, but just go and ask them. Could you please explain what it means? What is God going to do? How, how does God feel about what people are doing on the globe? You know? Go on. The Lord is slow to anger. The Lord is slow to anger, which means he has, he has, he is long suffering, man. The Most High is looking around and there is a lot of buffoonery taking place on the globe, man. The Lord, the Lord at the time when he was winking at the ignorance of people, man, he was like, okay, let me just, Okay, let me. Okay, I see. I see that. I see what they do, you know. But let me just give them a little bit more time to get right. Let me. Let me send my prophets to warn them and let them get right. Or oh, I see they don't listen. Okay, okay. Keep warning them because they're stiff-necked. It's a stubborn people, you know. That that is how they were created to be stubborn, to be stiff-necked, not to listen, hard-headed. You know, when they hear the word of the Lord, they might put the fingers in the air and they might go la la, la 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 la. They don't want to listen. The Lord is still long suffering. He'd be like, okay, keep telling them, keep telling them, keep telling them. It gets so far that when you tell these people, they get angry. Oh, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear the messenger anymore. We don't want to hear it. Go away, go away. The Lord looks at it and he's like, okay, so now you want to buck up against my messenger. Okay. Man. I, can't, I guess it's time to bring out the ass whooping, huh? That, 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 that's what needs to happen, man. Yeah, man, and, and even worse, y'all killed the prophets. They killed the prophets. Let me get that. This in uh, uh, Second Chronicles. That's what they did. That's what they did. In the, in the, <coughs> in the book of Matthew also, <coughs> what it read, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that slay it and kill it, the prophets, man. They murdered the prophets, man. And the Heavenly Father said, hey, do my prophets no harm? Don't touch my prophets, man. How do, what the hell do you? Who the hell do you think to lay hands on the messenger of the Most High? Because you don't love the message of the Most High. Who the hell do you think you are, man? That's the same thing. Like when you have the mailman, the mailman, you might you might have a bill, you didn't pay the bill, and the mailman is sending you the bill. You know, if you don't pay within this amount of days, they come and take your whole stuff. Who are you to respond to, to get angry at the mailman? Why do you send me this letter, you fucking? That's what people do. We are here, the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't get angry at the messenger because you don't love the message. 
we gonna tell you what will happen with you if you don't get by. Yeah, man, and if you don't like the message, you don't love it, you need to check yourself. Yeah, man, check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, that's what people need to do. But they don't want to check themselves. They they just want to get. They just want to spew hate. They want to spew anger. No, I don't want to get wrecked. I don't get what I don't want to get corrected. God only on that, and then they jump on the pot. Only only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. Share yeah, right. You don't want that. You don't. You don't want. You don't want to reach that point where you say to the messenger, the, the messenger that the Lord sent it, out of compassion, and you don't want to listen. And then you want to say like, no man, only God can judge me. So you want to disregard the message. You want to disregard the, let me get that. You want to disregard <coughs> the compassion of the Most High. I don't want the compassion of the Lord. Don't come up with your compassion. That's what people say. In other words, man. Don't bring me that compassion. <coughs> I want to deal with the God. As the A, hey, that's the same thing with the people doing Moses. You know, mm -hmm. Moses is a leader. We, we want to talk with God as well. And as soon as they get close unto the Most High, boom, brrr, oh, no, you, go, you go deal with it, you go deal with it, you go deal with it. You know, but that's the same spirit that people have. You hear, you hear the words by the messenger, but then you don't want to listen. You be like, nah, man. We gonna, I'll, I'll, wait to, I'll, I'll wait till I deal with the big man in the sky himself. <laughs> No, oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't want that, man. Yeah, exactly. You don't want that. Exactly. You, 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 you can't pass Yahweh Shai, man. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and that's and that's a very, a very beautiful point that you made, man. Because as they pass, they deny the Lord, and as they deny the Lord, they don't get cleansed from the blood, from their sins by yep. the blood of the Redeemer. And if you don't get cleansed by the blood of the Redeemer. You, you are actually still in line with this world. This world is in, in condemnation. It is appointed to be destroyed. So as long as you don't get out of the world through the Redeemer, you know, bump out of the world through the Redeemer, get cleansed, and then you get on the right hand side, you actually appointed, you, you are appointed to condemnation. You know? Let me get this, man. The book of uh, 2 Chronicles 36, verse 16. <coughs> 15 and the Lord Jehovah of their fathers, the power <coughs> <coughs> Let me drink something first. What was that? Was it the vogel? I don't know, I think it. I feel a drip on me, I don't know if it the vogel was, man. I heard it was very thick and I thought, hey, shit on me. They misuse the prophets, man. This is what the scripture says. <coughs> it looked like it was bird shit, man. But I don't see anything on my clothing. It says this, and the Lord Jehovah, power of the Father, sent to them by his messengers, the prophets, rising up betimes and sending. Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. The Lord has the Lord has compassion, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is in the spirit that he doesn't want to see destruction upon his people, man. But the Lord is a man, the man of his words, man. When you do the thing that is appointed to be punished, the Lord cannot withhold you from being punished because you did you do the wrong and you he's like, I, I, don't, I don't want to punish them. No, he has to. You know? Exactly, you know, if he, if he doesn't punish, if he wouldn't punish people, people wouldn't wouldn't take him seriously. Exactly. That's like, that's like a father that tells a child, like, if you go over there, if you steal, if you do those things, I'm going to whoop your ass, boy. The child goes out stealing, doing all type of things. When he gets home, his father is just looking, ain't doing nothing. This child going to think like, huh? 
daddy ain't doing nothing? Okay, I'm gonna do my thing again. That child, that child will become a gremlin, man, a demon. You gotta whoop, then you gotta whoop, there it is. You gotta whoop, whoop. That's what the Lord did with us. We got whooped many times. Chastisement is an example of whooping your ass. Correction, you know. But the people are going to witness it again by the ways of the plagues. You know, famine, diseases, spirits and animals, demons plaguing people, bugging them out, suicide demons, depression demons. You got all type of demons, man. Addiction demons. You know, a spirit that causes... <coughs> A spirit that can cause a man having 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 a strong desire towards another man. That's a demon. Yeah. And the Lord can do those those horrible things, man. You had that dude, that dude was I don't know his name, I don't know who he is. When you had that dude, he was laying on the floor, like like straight up in a position where we think like, yo, what the fuck? And I believe he got he got the most I place a spirit on him. I don't know if he had that spirit before. But that spirit revealed itself at that time. Like, yo, man. You see those things, you be like, yo, uh-uh, you don't you don't want to upset the you don't want to upset the most high. That power that can do such terrible things. It's a terrible thing, dog. Yo! I'm trying to imagine like the hey, boy, no? hey name, man. That is anchor. <laughs> yeah, man. Scary. Don't no real man wanna be a faggot, man. Hell to the no, hell to the no. It says, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets. So they despised the word of the Most High. They misused the prophets. They were in the spirit like, hey man, we're going to beat them, man. Let's, let's cause them to stop speaking these words, man. Let's, let's cause them to stop telling what is going to happen with us. The people don't want to hear that, man. <coughs> they want to hear God loves. Oh, you still hope oh, God still loves you. Oh, you're a pedophile, come as you are. You don't have to change. God loves you. Oh, you're a homosexual? Well, God also loves them. That, that's, that's what they want to hear. But the Bible, we're going to tell you what is within the Bible. They mocked the messengers of the Most Time, despised his words, and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Till there was no remedy. It says, therefore, he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees, who slew the young man with the sword by the way of the weapon. Who are the young men? The children, man. The youngsters, the youngest of the youngest, slew, slaughtered, brutalized, tortured, destroyed, you know, with the sword in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon young men or maiden, old men or him that stupid for age. He gave them all into his hands. Young, old, male, female, everything got consumed. Why? For upsetting the Most High. Why? For being an idol worshiper. Why? For being straight up rebellious, man. You got something? Uh, I was still in uh, Nahum. Oh, yeah, uh, Nahum, I pack uh, Samuel. Well, you can go on. You can read on. The book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power yep. and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yeah, the Lord is not going to let the wicked escape, man. What do you think, man? You look around, you see Esau. Esau did things in the past. So many things, man. If he, if he, would, if he would sum up all the things that they have done unto our people, we would be standing here still until tomorrow, man. The brutalization unto our people, the dehumanization, the castration of our people, of our men. You had bug breaking of our men. The way how they stole the land of the native Indians. The native Indians are the tribe of Gad. The way how they did of the Latin tribes, the conquistadors, the way how th this man has uh, this man has a track record. If you would roll it up, it goes it keeps going. Actually it should be it, it should be steered up like if you, if it goes up, it would go up totally in, into the heavens, man. Reaching reaching the heavenly father in the in the that's the fourth heaven. Most I be like, yo, Esau, you, it's done, man. Now it's now it's payback time. It's time to get paid back for what you did. Payback time, man. It's a it's a beautiful time to see it and to be in a time in which you see that the wicked has done so much, and all the scandals are being revealed. 
whistleblowers, the Lord, the Lord is putting the spirit on even their own people to speak out against things, man, about them. That's a beautiful time, you know. You got a question? We zijn weer. Ik zal Nederlands praten. We zijn aan het prediken. Oké. Ben je gelovig? Nou, zeker zin wel. Maar dan weet ik het. Oh, je gaat nu verder. Oké. Let's go. Uh, <coughs> Salah. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. So the Lord is controlling the elements, man. And the Lord, the Lord is going to use the elements to, to, to terrify people, man. Storm, tempest, these, these are things that terrify people, man. You know, when you, when you see lightning, rain pouring in extreme ways, so you see lightning, the sound of lightning. Then. Hey, that, that puts fear in people, man. People, people on the streets, hiding. And many times you see these fits, man. People standing outside near a tree and the lightning, lightning strikes them. Boom! That's the most high. The Heavenly Father, the, the Bible says it, to, to the Heavenly Father pertains the issues of death. That's the most high, you know? When you see those things, you be like, yo, Heavenly Father is doing it. Judgment. Yeah, can't, can't go on. Verse 4, yep. he rebuked the sea and make it dry and dried up all the rivers. Bashan languished and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languished. Yeah, man. Go on. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burnt at his presence. So there was, was, I believe there was a place, uh, I believe it was kind of Spanish the way how it sounded. There was a place where this volcano erupted and you saw the lava. That's the way of the Most High again, man. Pretty soon people are going, people can play it. In those places, they really can play it. the floor is lava, you know? Trying to run and escape for lava. But when it's real time, you can't, you can't undo or make mistakes. When you fall or when you stumble or when you step in lava, it's 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 game over. You can't say like no nah, no nah, man no nah, man it's not no done. You fall in love for you done. You finish. It's over, man. You know, huh? Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. That's the Heavenly Father, man. Who can stand? Only the elect is going to be able to stand or to withstand what the Lord is about to do. Because they have the spirit of the Most High inside of them. They are in cahoots. They are, they are in oneness of mind, in one accord with the Most High. You know? So the Lord, the Lord is going to be merciful unto them. It's talking about the elect. Only, only for the elect, the Lord is going to do that, man. The rest of the people that are walking, walking disorderly, lawless, you know, in hate, resist this, rebellion. Let's get this, man. The book of first, the, the book of first Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23, it reads, "For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft." And the Bible says, "Ye shall not suffer. Ye shall not allow." That's old English. English. Ye shall not suffer a witch to live. So. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had also rejected thee from being a king. This is, this is what happened with ex-king Saul. Ex-king Saul got dealt with in this ferocious way. This, this, if you look at it in a way like, for disobeying the Most High, the Heavenly Father dealt with him quite harsh, man. When you read these things, you gotta be like, yo, this is what the Lord did with ex-King Saul. He didn't obey. What about us? What about us? What about what about us, man? How many times we went off, we went, we went, we went, we went astray. To the mercy and the power of the Heavenly Father, to his son, 
we have been brought back to adoption. Now we're here. Yeah, man. You know? I, yo, the, you see, because why was uh, was the most high, most high so harsh on uh, Saul? Mm. Because he was an example to the people of Israel. He was the yep. king, man. Yep. Hey, if you're in the in the position of being a leader, woohoo! Hey, man, hey, you better be prepared, man, for the punishment if you go off, man. Hey, that's it, man. Unto whom much is given, much is required. You know, much lashes. You don't want no lashes, man. Exactly, man. Like they say in the comic, Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Yep, yep. God is black. Yeah, man, with great power comes great responsibility. Hey, that's it, man. That's it. I got another one. This is in uh, the book of Baruch. The book of Baruch. Well, let me start up from verse 6. Chapter 4, verse, uh, verse 6. It says, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. How and for what reason? What is the reason we were giving into the hand of the enemies? It says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. That's idol worship for me. When you speak about modern day Christianity, why Jesus? That's idol worship for me. When you speak about, when you speak about uh, uh, Islam, that is idol worship for, me for our people. When you speak about Buddhism, Hinduism, Mormonism, idol worshipery when you do these things you got to understand you upset the heavenly father do understand this man don't get into a spirit like where's the script you can get that this is in the book of uh, in the sirach is that um, um uh, is it sirach 3 verse 24 um, uh, i believe it is sirach 3 verse 24 if i'm not wrong Book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 24. The book of Sirach, aka Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, verse 24. Mm -hmm. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Many are deceived by their own vain opinion. You got many people, man, and I know it. You sense it. Many people are very uh, uh, conformed onto the base of this world. When you use a certain form of language, hard language, as you preach out of the Bible, they have been programmed to think that you can't say shit, or you can't say fuck, or you can't say uh, uh, to hell with them. You can't say the Lord's going to destroy you. You can't say those things. You can't say damn it. You can't say damn it. You can't say harlot. Or fuck. Or fuck or hoe. You can't see these things. Because you're in the Bible. God says you're not so long to not so supposed to say those things. Yeah, man. But, hey, man. Even God calls these, these women that are off, he calls them bitches, man. He calls them bitches indeed. You know? Because a, a female dog is a bitch. It's a bitch. You know? And the Bible says a woman that is shameless shall be accounted as a dog. How is it that many of the most of them are conducting themselves in this world? Except what do they they do? They stay twerking, shaking, committing adultery. You had I was I was on uh, um, I was watching this video from a uh, uh, world store hip hop, and I might as well play it. Let me just show you the people, man. You can zoom in and then you can let me let me just show this. Um, on they finish that one, the one you was reading, and then I, I'm gonna show this clip. <coughs> And an evil suspicion had overthrown their judgment. An evil suspicion can, over, can overthrow a man's judgment is by the way of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an entity, man. You know? You, you might think like, nah, this is not right. This. And then when you go off from the thing that is according to the right, according to the spirit, you got misled by evil spirit. So opinions and, 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 and spirits on this earth can cause a lot of deception and a lot of trickery, man. Exactly, man. And you know what? The Most High doesn't give a fuck about your opinion. Indeed. You know? Many people might get offended, might say things like, Oh my God, they're too rough, they're too hard. They say things too harsh, too rough. They, 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 what people want is that you rob them. You want you gotta, you gotta, you gotta speak cozy to them. No, God, God doesn't want you to do that, little boy. You know, that God doesn't want you to do that, miss or sir. That's what they want to hear. But who's going to take a God serious that, that approaches you in that way? Who's going to take a father serious that approaches you in that way? People need, 
I'm in the jail because I believe to my father and I was praying in the street area and police officer blocked me because what? I believe to my father and I was praying in the street. I didn't hear everything that you said. Yeah, she was, she was talking Pray. about praying to the father, to blah, the father. blah, she blah. She got blocked up? She yeah, got something like that. No, I didn't hear it either, but that's how people are. Like, why would you trying to say something and then quickly run off? Like, what, what is that? The spirit? I don't know, know. It's like, but then they want you to listen, but they don't want to listen to your reaction because we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going to get a spiritual reaction based on what you say. And we're going, most of the time, most likely, I will jump to the script. When you say something, I'm going to go to the script, you know? But people just want to drop bombs and then they, they want to walk off like, then don't say anything at all. Don't come up with that type of spirit, man. We ain't digging it over here. You want to say something and then you want to put you want to run off. What the hell is that, man? Let me get this, man. World Star Hip Hop, man. A lot of folly is being shown over there, but hey, it is what it is, man. It is displaying the conduct of a lot of our men of our nation. What is this? So I don't have internet. Oh, my internet at the front. This must be handy. So I have to put on my internet because I didn't have my internet on. But this is a, this is going to be a clip. And as the brother will zoom in, the people, the people, the watchers, the listeners, they can hear the whole clip. If you hear what this female said, this is this is this is disgusting. What they do, man. The mind of these females, oh my gosh, it's no joke, man, to be in the mind like, what is this? Oh, I tied the room, I did wrong. Room? So, hot spot, you know the song from Foxy Brown, get you in the hot spot, hot spot. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened with Foxy Brown. And we come to think of it, even your house I trust the woman out for dogs. Yep, hey, that's true, man. <laughs> and, and, and the woman at the well, man. Yep. She was a damn hoe. Damn dog, swines. The Bible says, don't, don't give, don't give that which is holy unto the dogs. Don't give your pearls unto the swines. Like mm -hmm. the Lord, the Lord has many, many ways of speaking about yeah, man, that's wicked. Those who want to really to receive the word of the Most High. Exactly, man. And like a pearl is in the swine's snout. Yep. So it's a woman without discretion. Yep. Hey. These hey. bitches are swines, man. That's the it. Pigs. Pigs. They're nasty now. So this is the clip. It says, can't trust these chicks. Woman gets pregnant by her ex-husband's baby. What? While still being married onto another man. Horrible. Let's play this. Well, willing, they're not going to do too much madness when we want to show this. But work. 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 Why is it not working? Slag, yeah, bear with me. Okay, let me scroll and look it up for you because it doesn't seem to. Work as I press on it. Can't trust him. And for the one unto whom it does not pertain, don't worry. Because women have this tendency, man. When you point out the evil of these females, they immediately get, they immediately feel attacked. If you feel attacked, then you got some guilty conscience, man. Yeah, man, and you need to check yourself. Yeah, check yourself. Why are you talking about this? Because because you, you 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 damn women love to do wickedness and then justify it, man. Because exactly. it's never your fault. Exactly. That's the mind of them. They 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 don't want to take responsibility of accountability. Man. Uh -huh. It's always it's always the fault of a man. And we're gonna tell you that all all men are righteous, man, because you also have evil, you know, like gremlin ass gremlin ass type of fellas, man. But these females, oh, oh, oh. and like it is written in Ecclesiastes chapter seven, amongst thousand men, you have one that is righteous. Yeah. 
Yep. But amongst thousand women, none of them, you, you won't find a righteous woman. Hey, exactly, man. Hey, this thing is acting up, man. I click on it, but it doesn't really show. Let me see. It keeps showing that it's still loading. Okay, let me let me scroll down. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up where it is between these things. Also, if you stop or you, you're slacking or lacking a little bit with your grip, that's what I noticed. Okay, let me see if it pops up now. I have to scroll up a little bit faster because I know people... Of a mission at the left side, the tail is gonna man. What? Or maybe they removed, I'm thinking like maybe they removed it. Oh no, here it is, I got it. The body of Bashimian shine. So now it needs to, to load the church. Open up. Hey, if it's not working, then I'm gonna leave it, man. Because this thing is acting for some reason, the internet is not going that fast. It's quite yeah, slow. The hell, man! Lot, man. We go. I'm, not, I'm gonna put the video in the in the comment section. Well, no, what what was her reaction, man? The, the this the, the head of the, the 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 video was like this: A woman gets pregnant with her ex-husband's baby while still being married onto another man. Yeah, sick man. It's a very disgusting spirit, man. And I believe the story went as follows, man. She had a man. She she knows that man from a very young age, like like young. They've always been together. And they, they got married. 